Hey guys, what up? Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to update your geotag forward slash rgh nand. Um, okay guys, so it's going to update your dashboard, okay, that sort of thing. And what you're going to need to do this is you're going to need XA build, the latest one, so it's got the latest dashboard on. Um, you're going to need your CPU key, and you're going to need your original NAND, and you're going to need NAND Flasher 360, guys. And also, you're going to need a USB drive, okay, USB flash drive, okay. Um, any size will do, as long as it can hold your NAND, and your NAND Flasher 360. Okay, guys, so first thing what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up XA Build. Okay, so just run it. Okay guys, so when it opens up, you're going to hit open here, so you want to open the source file, and you want to go wherever yours is, mine is on my desktop, and it is that one there, okay, so you want to save it to wherever output, output path, sorry, so I just want to save it to my desktop guys, then you want to make sure it's on the right one, and um, when you've opened your NAND, it should already do all this itself, the motherboard and build type, okay, but if it's not, um, if you're using an RGH, you want, you want to um, click on Freeboot RGH1 or Freeboot RGH2, depending on whether your RGH is uh, the RGH1 or the RGH2, but mine is a geotag guy, so I'm using the Freeboot for the geotag, but if you are using the uh, Freeboot for the RGH, make sure you know which one it is, and so this so you have no errors or no problems when updating the NAND. Uh, so make sure you've got the right one selected. Mine's a geotag. So I want the free bridge for the geotag. Okay, so I'm going to select that one. I have an Exenon motherboard. You want to select whichever motherboard. Once again, they should already select for you once you've opened your NAND. But if not, just make sure you've got the right one selected. So mine is an Exenon. Now you want to get your CPU key. There's mine there. Right, okay, so copy and paste that into there. Now you want to select the latest dashboard. I want the latest dashboard, which is the 16197. I want that one XL reloaded. Um, if you have any X, if, you, if you've had your X clamps repaired, guys, if you had the X clamp fix, make sure to select that. I have, so I want the normal SMC hack, so I want that one selected. If you have no problems, if you've had no, if you haven't had the X clamp repair, you want to make sure you select that one. But I have, so I'm selecting that. I don't want to include the dash launch. Now you just want to generate the hacked image. Okay, guys, it shouldn't take too long. Then you should, yes, if you want to close the program, if you want to do more in the program, just hit no. But I'm going to hit no, guys just to keep the program open okay um, and there is my UPD flash now all I need to do guys is um, pierce that into my USB flash drive so I'm just going to plug it in okay guys I actually plugged in the wrong, win the wrong one in so I apologize for that but let's just plug in the right one here I just want to open it up. Okay, you want to put the NAND Flasher 360 in there. Wait for it to copy over. Okay, and then when the NAND Flasher is on there, you just want to um, open it up and put the UPD Flash in there. Okay, let it copy over. Now what we've got to do guys, we've got to go over onto the geotag and update it, okay guys, so I'll show you what to do from there. Okay guys, so now what we need to do is take out the USB, and we need to turn on our geotag. There's two ways to do this guys, you can't update it by using the eject button, I press the eject button and let it update that way, but I'm going to show you how to do it through NAND flasher, so I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, so just let it turn on. Just want to sync my pad. Okay, so just sign in. And as you can see guys, I am already on the new dashboard, but I'm just going to show you how to do it anyway. 
to go on the XX menu RB and go down to NAN Flasher 360 and go to default.xex you guys are going to see this dump NAN and right NAN obviously you just want to hit right NAN ok then you want to uh, go to your USB NAN Flasher and you want to go to the UPD flash make sure it is that one guys otherwise you will have problems and chances are your geotag so your geotag or RGH will not work so make sure you select the right one this will come up while the process is running please do not press any buttons so just hit ok and just let it uh, do it guys just let it just get on with it and as you can see the progress bar there don't interrupt it by turning off your geotag or nothing like that. Just let it update. Um, and like I said, guys, make sure you select the UPD flash. So, because if you don't, your geotag won't work if you write any other NAND to it. Um, unless it is the original NAND, but even still, you could have problems then. Okay, I'll see all operations successful. Now we're going to do is hit shut down and your geotag should just turn off. Now what you need to do guys is unplug the power and give it a few seconds to um, just leave it unplugged for a few seconds. Uh, take the USB out. <clears throat> ok just leave it. Ok guys so you can probably plug it back in now. Ok. Now what we need to do is turn the geotag. If everything went successful, the geotag should just boot up normally. And there we go guys. Okay guys, so it's successfully updated. Just sign in and I'll just quickly show you. System info 16197. Okay guys, so there you go, that's how you update your tag. Thanks for watching, peace out.